Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to learn about SOLIDWORKS Visualize. Here we will import a SOLIDWORKS assembly in SOLIDWORKS Visualize and we will apply appearance and material, realistic material to assembly. So I hope you learn. So let's see how to make this simple animation in our SOLIDWORKS Visualize. This is the gate wall we created in SOLIDWORKS. We did not apply any material. So let's export this file into SOLIDWORKS Visualize and apply material. So just drop down the menu of option, add in, comes down, click Visualize, check both the boxes, say yes. Now here you will find one option, SOLIDWORKS Visualize. Now here we have export, simple export advance. Even if you drop down tools, you will find here also export, simple export advance. There is not difference between simple and advanced, so I'll choose advanced. Now it's exporting this model to SOLIDWORKS Visualize and let's apply the material. Now this is exporting assembly. Now see the material exported here. At the upper top right corner you will see application tab. Now at this, these are the output tools. And these all are palettes. Now the first option we will learn what are the things here. Modes. The first mode is model. Import model. Just right click import model and choose whatever material you want to work and open. But we already opened here one wall. Now the second option is called appearance. You need to apply appearance. At the end here one option called file library. Here all the materials you want. So let's even though there is a SOLIDWORKS appearance also there. See SOLIDWORKS appearance. You can simply apply any material like let's say gold and uh, let's now you can use this output tool. First option is render selection so either you can choose preview fast accurate if we keep accurate it will take much time to render so i'll keep fast okay this one i'll show you at the end and this is the selection tool so we will keep appearance we can apply material at any appearance now this is a manipulation tool keep as it is these are the camera tools you can uh, rotate or move your component like this zoom in zoom out and these are the views view cube or present presets so let's say like this okay this gives a perfect view okay unchecked now Let's apply a material to this body. So 14 carat or 18 carat gold. Now we apply material to main body. Okay. Now chrome. Chrome is very important. But brushed chrome. I will apply to this nipple. And this fitting. See here. Now, chromium plate, I will apply this upper, upper one. Now, aluminium, aluminium polished, I will apply to this screw. That's it. Now, go to paint, car paint, I will apply this candy to this handle. Now, there is also one rod inside steel polished steel just drag and that's it now there is one seal rubber seal so here let's up find out where is rubber just move your cursor near to okay now that's applied so simply how we applied material to here there is one more option even though right click on any part properties appearance now from here you can add few more things 
either texture you can add any kind of other texture tiles or something like this or this is the color see it's changed so let's keep the same thing what color we like to keep previously and also roughness clearance angle and okay now let's come to scene now here environment and backplate we need to see if you right click or you just simply go to library and here you will find option environment and uh, plates so back plates we can select any what you like double click on this and this is appear if you go to environment you will find here two options see high contrast and plain white double click and you will see this option now in camera you will find in camera we can adjust brightness and perspective see perspective focal length we already set this one see so we will not disturb this focal length perspective even though this see this seems better uh, not much uh, if it comes down here advanced okay here you will find some filters also camera position you can adjust the heights of from floor so these are the few things you can adjust in camera background we already selected from here in background there is some more option called uh, floor reflection if i am going to check you will see little reflection at floor shadow intensity if i am going to increase now you will see this shadow for this body it is increased okay these are the few things we did now comes to output now here if i am going to choose accurate it takes 300 passes to render and it takes much time but it gives you very clear if i am going to choose simple preview turn play see how is going to turn slow fast you can do it fast see even though you can select reverse or here option called reset unchecked fast that's it and uh, this all we already learned the last option called output tools if you click output tools it will ask you project name so let's say wall now location to save i'll choose desktop output file jpg png i'll keep jpg render comes down before starting these are the resolution according to our background even though you can increase this resolution it's uh, not a big deal but if you increase it will take more time now here render selection here we selected fast quality we selected this 1200 almost it takes more time let's say start render now if we select start render it will try to calculate and it will save in your destination and it will take time see live render 3% so let's i am going to skip this option 
now it is done it is 100% completed if you open this your folder see this is how we did a simple render and create a jpg file now simply if you even though big small cancel so this is how we export a simple assembly in solidworks visualize and learn some basic basics of solidworks visualize i hope you like it don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching